guys welcome back to my channel um, so I'm gonna be doing a voiceover for this video I'm gonna be starting in with my usual the Clinique dramatically different hydrating jelly all over my face then I'm gonna be going in with my unique BB flawless this is in the color caramel I have never done this technique on camera but I do this sometimes where on the left side of my face I'll draw a number three and on the right side it'll be like the letter E if that makes any sense for you guys so like around my forehead into my under my cheekbone and then under my jawline and I'll blend that all in then I'm going to take my shape date tape in the color light medium this is my favorite favorite concealer guys it's so full coverage and it's just so pretty and it goes on so smooth so I'll be putting it on the parts of my face that I'm going to highlight so under my eyes my little booger area my uh, jaw and on my forehead then I will be taking my damp beauty blender and I'm just going to be blending that all in so blending in where the light parts meet the dark parts So then I'm going to be going in with my Ben Nye banana powder and I'm taking a generous amount in my palm and then I'm going in with that same damp beauty blender and I'm just going to be baking it under the eyes. I'm going to go in and I'm going to continue to bake it on the rest of my face. So right now I'm doing my jaw area, my chin, and then I'll be doing my forehead and I'm just going to let it sit there for a couple of minutes while I do the rest of my makeup. Now it's time for brows. You guys know from my last brow tutorial what my technique is, so this is going to be in fast forward, but I'll talk you through it just so you can get a refresher, and if you haven't seen that video, you can get an idea of what it is, and then you can go check it out. So I'll be starting at almost the front of my eyebrow, and then I'll be outlining the bottom, then I outline the top, and I don't really do the, the very, very front of the brow just yet. So after I'm done outlining, that's when I'll go in and I will fill in and I will shape the front part of the brow. And I want the front part of the brow to be the lightest because it looks the most natural. And I want to go in with my spoolie and you just, when you're doing your eyebrows, you want to make sure this is so important that you blend it all out because it's going to give it sort of that fuzzy faded look and it's not going to look like harsh pencil marks on your eyebrow, if that makes any sense. So now I'm going to be just going in and doing the same, brushing my eyebrows up and starting with the bottom outside frame. You want the pressure right here at the front of your brow to be the very, very lightest. You want it to sort of have that gradient effect where it goes from light to dark. And you want to blend that all out with your spoolie. So now I'm just going to be taking a fluffy blending brush and I'm going to be blending out all of the Ben Nye Banana Powder. And as you can see, it really brightens up the areas where I put the Shape Tape Concealer. So now I'm going to be going in with my NYX powder and I'm going to mix a couple of different colors together. I'll be using the third one on the bottom and the fourth one on the bottom. I take about two dabs of each color and then I tap off the excess. And then what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going over the part where I put the Unique BB Flawless in that dark color caramel. So I'm just going over that area 
So like I said, this technique is a little bit different from the other techniques that I show in my videos, but I have several techniques that I use and you guys hopefully will be seeing all of them. So I'm just gonna be going down the sides of my nose to contour. I'm gonna be doing a separate nose contouring video just because I have a huge nose and I know lots of people have big noses. Um, so instead of getting a nose job, which I'm way too chicken to do, I uh, like to go in and contour. So I will be doing another video on how I do that exactly, but right now this is gonna be in fast forward. So now I'm gonna be going in with my primer. This is from Maybelline. You can use any primer you want. You can also use concealer if you don't have primer. And I'm going in with a flat synthetic brush and I really like using a brush. I also use my finger in the other videos, but I really love using a brush also because it goes in under the brow and it makes it look really cut out and carved out. So now I'm going in with my Huda, Huda Beauty palette, excuse me, and the color Flamingo. It's the lightest pink in her color and I'm just going in, in her palette rather, and I'm just going in with my fluffiest brush and I am gonna be putting this all over my crease as a transition color. Then I'm going in with a little bit of a different brush. It's also fluffy, but it's a little bit smaller and it's called a petite crease brush. And this is the color Man Eater also in the Huda Beauty palette. And it's the next darkest color up that we're moving up towards. So I'm gonna also put that on my crease, but I'm putting it slightly lower than where I placed the first lightest color. So now I am going in with my Magic Mini by Juvia's palette. I love this color, it's called Koji. It's also a dark sort of reddish berry color. It's so, so pretty. So I'm mixing that into the last area I just placed the color in. And now I'm going in with my Stila Glitter Eyeshadow. I love this eyeshadow. It's in the color Kitten. So I'm just going in and carving out my crease. Then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna put the first coat on the next eyelid. I usually like to do two coats with this type of eyeshadow. I just feel like it's so sparkly and pretty and two coats really does it some justice. So then I'm gonna be going in with that color Man Eater again from the Huda Beauty palette and I'm gonna be be doing the outside crease and notice I'm really staying towards the outer V and just into the crease slightly I'm not going towards the inner corner of my eye at all So now I'm going to be going in with my second coat of that sparkly color kitten from Stila and I'm going to just be going over the inner corner of my eyelid again. And you want it to look kind of flawless so you're going to see me go back in with my brush in a second and just sort of recreate or redo the exact same step I just did. Okay, so now I am taking this beautiful color called Moon Dust from the Huda Beauty palette. It's like a gold shimmery color and I'm taking it with a pencil brush and going on the inner corner of my eye and also under my uh, brow bone. And I'm just sort of carving it out. So now I will be going in with that first transition color called Flamingo from the Huda Beauty palette and I'm going to be just buffing out any harsh lines that I see that I made with the lightest color. 
So now it's time for eyeliner. My technique, as you guys know from my other eyeliner video, I'll be making another one because it was not a liquid liner, but it's the same technique pretty much. I'll draw a line on the outer corner of my eye towards my eyebrow, and then I'll draw the line across my eyelid and connect the two, but I won't be connecting at the very end of the first line, if that makes any sense. I'll be connecting it somewhere in the middle. And then what I'm going to do is once the line is drawn across my eyelid, I will examine it and if I want it thicker, that's when I'll go in and make it thicker. But I usually draw a thinner one at first. So then I'm going to just be going in and doing the same thing on the other eye. So draw that line, then I connect the two in the middle of the other line. Hope you guys can understand what I mean when I say that. And then I'll just be going in to thicken it up. So now it's time for lashes. I am putting my lash glue on my eyelashes. This is going to be a completely separate video, so you guys are going to see this in fast forward. But yeah, pretty much you just want to put the lash glue on the strip and then you want to blow on it or just wait a couple of uh, seconds. Actually, probably about one full minute would be good enough. And just till it starts to get a little bit tacky, then you're ready to put it on your eyelash line. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. I like to take my tweezers and squeeze the false lash with my real lashes. That way from the side you don't see that gap. Now I'm going in with that color Man Eater again. And I'm going to just be putting it under my eyes to smoke out the bottom line. I'm going to actually be using two colors here, so I go in with the lighter color first and I smoke it out. And then I'll be going in with my next color called Fling from the Huda Beauty palette. It's just a slightly darker color and I'll be also just going over that same line that I'm doing right now. So now I'm going in with my mascara. This is my Voluminous Mascara from L'Oreal. It's one of my favorites. I have a few right now that I really love, but right now this is the one that I'm using. When I'm doing the top lash, I look down into the mirror. When I'm doing my bottom lashes, I like to look up into a mirror. That way I avoid any fallout and drying all over my face with my mascara wand. Nobody likes that. So I'll be doing a couple of coats. So now I'm going to just be going in with my favorite highlighter. This is from Revolution or Makeup Revolution. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's in the color Champagne. I just take a couple of drops on my blush brush here and I just dab it onto the high points of my face. So you want to put it above where you're going to place your blush just to sort of make your cheeks look like they protrude out a little bit more. And then I like to do my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, my chin. So now I'm going to be going in with the lightest color of my Anastasia blush palette. And I'm going to just be putting it all over my cheeks. I like to smile slightly when I do my blush because it really helps me to see where the apples of my cheeks are. Next, it is time for lips. This is my NYX lip pencil. I love this color. It's called Nude Pink. It goes well with so many different uh, color lipsticks and lip glosses. This is a staple in my makeup. So 
So I like to outline the outer lines of my lips, but I also like to color in the corners with my lip pencil. I'll be doing another video on that soon. So now I'm going in and I'm mixing two different lip colors. This is the color Ohm, O-M from Bare Minerals. And I'm also going to be mixing it with my Too Faced Melted Latex Liquefied High Shine Lipstick. This is in the color Safe Word. And I'm going to be blending the two together. I'll be doing a layer of each. And to finish, I'll be doing the last layer, which is the Bare Minerals color, just to sort of tone down that bright pink. Guys, this is the finished look. I hope you liked it. I think it's so romantic and pretty for Valentine's Day. I think your man is going to love it. Please post your pictures and any comments. Let me know what you think below. Thank you guys so much.